Uh, my name is Craig Moskowitz. I'm the clinical director of the Division of Hematologic Oncology at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I'm going to discuss an interesting abstract um, using brentexamib vidotin or SGN35 as a bridge to an allogeneic stem cell transplant in patients with Hodgkin lymphoma or anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Um, Brentuximab vidotin was recently approved for the treatment of both ALCL and Hodgkin lymphoma uh, based upon two large phase two studies. In the context of those two studies, there's a cohort of patients who received an abbreviated version of the treatment program, anywhere from three to six cycles of brentuximab vidotin, and they achieved an excellent response, either a complete or a very good partial response. They were taken off study and then subsequently received a non-myeloblative allogeneic stem cell transplant, either using peripheral blood progenitor cells or cord blood, transplant, uh, cord blood cells. The results are quite interesting. At a, fo a medium follow-up of between two and three years, nearly three-quarters of the patients are progression-free, which is quite atypical for a patient population that has already failed an autologous stem cell transplant. This is a new use of this particular drug treatment program as part of a bridge strategy to achieve a minimal disease state prior to a potentially curative transplant. And I certainly can foresee this happening in the future um, at our center and at other centers uh, using uh, this agent.